Hey guys, this is TF Primecast, episode 3, with your host Aramis Prime, Ray, and Optanimus Prime. Say hello, guys. Hey, I got a normal name. Yeah! <laughs> hey, I got a prime name. Yeah, yeah. Ray isn't worthy. Oh, we, but we do no, call everyone's a prime here. Lot, everyone's a prime here. You're just Ray Prime. You're just you're just boring. No, I don't want to be a prime. I'm I'm proud of my lack of primehood. <laughs> or you just, or or are you like Alpha Trion and you? No, oh, he's he's Depth Charge. He's, you're a prime, but you don't have the name like Prime. Yeah, that's what it is. That's like Alpha is. Trion. He's cool as hell as well. So. <laughs> Old, yeah, yeah, he's got the beard. Okay, so this is also, because I have forgotten to mention this on every single episode so far, you know, the whole two that have come before this, that our special thing is we're the youngest Transformers podcast ever. Except probably barring me because I'm 23. <laughs> well, I mean, in general, though, like, our age, age. our age combined. Plus, I don't think, uh, are there any you listen to that they're younger than 23? No, I think uh, most Transformers podcasts are uh, uh, older guys. Not yep. as an insult, just because no. that's the way the <laughs> fandom generally is yeah. distributed. Yeah, exactly. Not not an insult, because trust no. me, I love me some other Transformers podcasts. But... No, they're all stupid Gen 1ers. Jeez, guys. <laughs> hey, Gen 1 is great. Because <laughs> he was totally being serious, Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> And I just had to defend it in case I wasn't being <laughs> in stupid. In case, in case you were actually serious, he, just, he felt the need. Okay. Yeah. So we have plenty of news, but uh, first, let's talk about: Did we get anything new? Ray, you're going last because you're you have like a pile of stuff. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Especially since you were on the last episode, <laughs> because you got a ton of stuff for you, like your birthday. Then, anyways. Oh yeah. Tanner, go. Okay, so I was I was able to get um, a couple of different things. First of all, I got the original um, uh, Transformers Prime Deluxe Wheeljack, which is not very exciting. It's a but very very. Good I've been wanting it for a while, and I saw it in a hobby shop for fifteen bucks, and I, I had to. It was, it was awesome because Wheeljack, if you don't know already, is my favorite Transformer of all time. And then I got. Well, somebody has to like wheel junk. I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> true though. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's, sorry, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> just just watch the other episodes. But um, I also picked up a new Robots in Disguise Legends class. It's the repaint of Sideswipe. It's like Alpine Sideswipe or something, but it's re it's Red Alert pretty no, much. No, it's, it's totally it's Alpine Alert. Sideswipe. It's totally a thing. <laughs> It's it's like Alpine Strike Sideswipe. It, it, now what's, repaint what's this, names what's this Red are Alert you're great. speaking of? I don't know who Red Alert is. <laughs> He's one of those stupid N1 characters. Oh god, G1, I hate that. Yeah, uh, I, actually I want to stop that in case some, it, like, somebody will think we're not being ironic then or being funny. And they'll just think, jeez, these guys are dicks. And <laughs> Again. Yeah, you guys. You know what? You guys probably like beast machines. Oh well. Well, actually, no. This is unfair because now I'm gonna get bullied. I like machine wars and beast machines. I, I must do. be one of the few people on earth. I do but... too. I mean, I like beast wars a heck of a lot more, but I still like it. But then again, I do also prefer the Dinobots robot modes to the dinosaur modes. I mean, I agree, but I know no one else agrees. We're like the only two people in the I world. I don't get why. Why though? Like. Dinosaurs have very limited appeal to me. I'm not a five-year-old, right? I've got over dinosaurs. <laughs> robots still cool. Though. I like I like the robot modes, the Dinobots. I, I actually think they should spend more time in them. Yes. Okay. Well, wait. Wait. So, is there anything else new you got, Tanner? Um. Uh, Transformer-related? Uh, no. Well, actually, no. I I did get the new Voltron pop figure, and for those of you who don't know what Voltron is, just just look it up. It's is great. In all fairness, I don't know what Voltron is, is either. I've just seen, like, pictures, and it looks cool, and I plan to check it out at some point. But we'll see check if that Check it ever, out. It's, it's great. We'll see if it ever Also watch happens. Voltron Legendary Defender on Netflix. It's great as well. I know. I do, I do want to watch that. But, so, I got a case of Marvel Legends, but that's not Transformers. But also in that package from Big Bad Toy Store was Dia Battles V2. And, man, this toy is freaking awesome. Like, 
I know you got it a while ago, uh, Ray, but man, this is just so, it's so, such a good toy, so fun, lots of playability, but like, hmm, I'm still debating whether it was worth the money or not, because it's like... Did you get scalped? I'm like, I'm literally no, sure no, you paid it's, too much for it's a, it. It's hey, a, you get it's it from? 160 on Big Bad Toy Store, and it's a, like 170 everywhere else. Yeah, well, you know what? I wouldn't fucking buy it for that much. I love it, but he, fuck that much. Yeah, you got you got screwed there. I'm sorry, right? <laughs> See, but like, it's not it's not available for cheaper anywhere else, though. Like, you could have bought it from the UK. That would have been cheaper. You know, what? Uh, I, I, I feel 160 is a bit much for one figure. It's, it's not like a it's not like a Titan class figure. It's not like a masterpiece figure. You know? Uh, I would totally say it's a masterpiece figure. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, like Voyager oh. sized, but better than yeah, any. The piece. sad thing is though, it's Voyager sized, so like it would cost as much as like the Autobot cars, but it costs a little over double. Double that. At so least. that's why it's like. Ehh. Yeah, yeah, but it's double as good, right? <sighs> it is, but like I like, still yeah, just so don't. Then I still just don't know if it's quite worth the price. Like 120, I would say, holy crap, go buy it. It's perfect you'll never get more than your money's worth for this but like 170 is just like it's so mm, i don't know either way so that's what i got ray go over your list <laughs> go from the beginning though okay. because your your last ones are the most exciting all right so this is a big list i'm just warning all right because i bought i well i got loads of stuff uh i'll start mmc great shop I might have mentioned that one last time, but I don't think I had it then, so maybe not. Pretty good. Six modes, all the six, all five, but robot mode, and I guess the spaceship mode's kind of good. The rest are crap, though. But he's really cool. He has big swords and big guns, and yeah, he's fun. Um, Star Saber, who I sold, because... Wait, you sold was... you sold your masterpiece yeah, Star Saber? Yeah, because I, it's just a really, like, it just feels like it's really lacking something. Plus, Heretic. there's no victory Leo. So true, true. But still, you're a heretic. Like, I'll Selling probably get transformers. I'll probably wait until there's a um, a third party Star Saber that's done better than the official, because I will. At some point, yeah. Okay, what next? Um. All right. Uh, I'm just thinking. All right. Did you so get an next, Ultra Magnus? I got yeah, I got Ultra Magnus, pretty good. But I think I actually Did mentioned. You get Wheeljack. No. No. Um, I got Cloud Nine's Quake Blast, which mm. is definitely a knockoff of Quake Wave, but just reshelled. Pretty good. The lights are blindingly bright. Some QC issues. His arm broke out of the box, but that's fine. I got Combiner Wars uh, Megat Armada Megatron. Looks really good. It's a cool figure, and it's a recolor slash slight retool of an already really good figure. So yeah, it's yeah, a really good mold. Enough. Yeah, yeah. But he looks better. I th I prefer um, Armada colors to. I G1 actually do, especially colors. since there's the Titans Return Megatron coming out, the like G1 style Megatron. So it's like, yay! I had the Armada one, and I'll have the G1 one. Yeah, later. and the Armada one like. G1 style Megatron colors on a tank always looks wrong to me. Like a silver tank, at least Armada Megatron's green, so it yeah, looks more. It works cool. better. So like, what else? Yeah. Um, I got not a Transformers thing, but I'm going to mention it anyway. I got a stupid transforming Ninja Turtles toy where it's Raphael, I think, and he transforms into a pair of Psy. Hmm. It was stupid, so I wanted it. Uh, <laughs> but here's the biggest thing, right? This is like the big thing. Is I have all four of the Wave One Deluxes for Titans Return, and I have the two Wave One Voyages. I don't want to go into like an in-depth review because there's a lot I could say about them. Just the rank deluxes. them real quick, like okay. all six oh. together. All right. Um, I think it's Hardhead is the tank guy. He's tied one with Blur. Second is probably Scourge. Fourth is probably um, Calvatron, I'm going to say. Fifth is Sentinel Prime, though not from failings, just from personal preference. But sixth is uh, Skull Smasher slash Skull Cruncher slash Skull Fucker, whatever you want to call him. Um, <laughs> skull Cruncher. Like, they, 
there's a lot of like the main thing I want to say about them is it's a fun line. I like the idea. It's kind of like a cheaper dire battle sync. Like um, mm-hmm. we were talking about that before the yeah, show. Yeah, like Erasmus or whatever already said. Pretty true. But the one failing flaw of them, and this is I'm mentioning this because it's so widespread that it has me concerned, is the quality control is a f- joke. Like. It's really, 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 really bad. Like, Did Hardhead have any figures. issues? Because I, yeah. I was really excited you for know Hardhead. What? You know what? Actually, I said all of them had QC issues. Hardhead doesn't. But he does have an issue that's not QC related that does annoy me. And that's his uh, hind legs don't plug into anywhere. So they can come a bit loose when he's in his tank mode. Oh, I heard about that, yeah. But honestly... Like, he's the best of them by a long shot. Like, even better than the Voyagers in terms of engineering and quality and just goodness. Like, he's just really good. He That's should be good. more expensive. He should be, like, a pricier deluxe. He is better than all he the rest. He might on the aftermarket. We'll see. Definitely. I wouldn't like, be surprised. I mean, just his accessory weight is better. <coughs> like, he has a massive, he's solid, a giant cannon, cannon. And then he still had a gun. I was surprised that he still came with a gun. Yeah, like Skull Smasher has a giant hollow cable gun, but mm, he has a uh, stupid tail. I hate parts forming. Yeah, so but he doesn't have like a proper gun like uh, oh, oh, I Hardhead have, does. I have a question: Does Blur like so? I hate parts forming. Does Blur have to parts form like with the shield thing, or can that part from his vehicle mode just go on his back? Like, can he transform and pretend it goes it's on not? his back? It goes. So on like, his back. you don't have to use it as an accessory. No. No. Yes. Oh, That's that makes me so thing. happy. I'm glad that it's an option because, like, you know, it was with the G1 toy and stuff with the shield. But, like, I don't – I just don't like parts forming in general. Headmasters is a slight exception to it. But, like, still the rest of it, it's like I don't want it to. Well, well yeah, because the heads so. have somewhere to go in both modes. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense for them to come off. But, um, yeah, anyways, so video reviews for every single Wave 1 figure have hit – so that's news. Um, oh, those I mean, Chinese people like no, pulling no, no. them there's, apart. No, there's a uh, American. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Too I think I saw some by Pew actually. The Chinese yeah, reviews. Pew got better, some uh, legends, uh, but the tr- the chosen prime got all the leaders, all the voyagers, all the deluxes. I don't know if you got legends, but I've seen lots of reviews with the legends actually, and I've seen ones of no, actually I have not seen of ones of the headmasters, but I know there are some. So. This is kind of a loaded question for Ray. But, like, here, Optanimous, what are you most excited for? What one figure out of all of them? Uh, well... Not uh, counting Fort Max, because he's a Titan class. Just aw. just putting that out there. Yeah, the easy um, choice. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to say, because, honestly, I'm not going to be picking all of the figures up. Heretic. I mean, there's just some that, I really, that really don't appeal to me that much. Blasphemy. But if there is one figure that I am really excited about it's blaster oh really really yeah that does look a really good mold you know that's available online now for us right where big bad toy store him and power master optus prime right that blaster mold gives me serious nerd rage though because i see it being used for soundwave and i'm like but soundwave doesn't look like that <laughs> i actually like the soundwave version that got no no you're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to like it. It's against the law. I really like it, though. Like, no. Like, I no. really do. No. no. Ray, no. Ray, chill out. Okay. He could. Hey, he. It, you know, it would be really bad yeah, if he turned a, into a lamppost. Quit being a G no. whiner. No. <laughs> if he turned into a, a lamppost, at least I'd be G1 accurate. Genius. Shut up. Okay, yeah, that would okay. be accurate to the full, like, 10 seconds you saw him as a lamppost. So this may surprise you, but my like most anticipated figure obviously would be Fort Max, but not counting Fort Max, like out of the Titan Masters to Leader class, would be Voyager class Sentinel Prime. Really? Only because he's like honestly the character that I care the least about. I found his color scheme very eye catching and I like it now, but that's totally not the reason. The reason is like an engineering standpoint, he looks to be to me, like, the most different from anything we've seen to this point. Um, I'm not what saying... What about Astro Train? 
Well, uh, I'm talking wave one. But yes, uh, it's the same mold, obviously. Astro Train just has a different Titan Master. Yeah, get out, Astro Train. <laughs> yeah, no, no one cares you. about you. <laughs> no, but like, it looks to be like an amazing mold, and so I'm totally excited for Astro Train too. But like, it just looks to me like it's the most unique transformation, and like just the way it works in general, it looks to be the most different and refreshing. Is the way I can describe it? Because after Combiner Wars, like. It's like, oh my god, all these figures have different transformations. That, that is true. What? That is very true. What? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love Combiner Wars. I'm not a Combiner Wars hater. There are plenty of those. And I actually still totally love Combiner Wars. Like, it's great for what it is. But I am so excited for figures that are meant to be standalone figures. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. But yeah, that's the reason. Is because uh, Sentinel Prime just looks like he has the most unique also also new legends figures uh actually that's one thing i'll give props to combiner wars for i love most of the legends i still don't get me wrong i'm very excited for actually a lot of the titans return legends too you're right they are they look amazing but i i won't say that like combiner wars are bad but yeah i'd have to agree with you actually the legends for titans return i'd say are a step up for the most part stripes looks yeah yeah, you know I, the it, tiger one. Yeah, I, I, see, I, I just really want person. Wheelie. Wheelie, Wheelie does looks look great. really good. He does look really good. Oh, I wish he came with a slingshot though. I don't care. Because <laughs> you know then, you know then what? you can recreate that scene of Grimlock saying, "Why boy hit Grimlock nose." <laughs> you know what I'm happy about in the Legends for Titans Return, like overjoyed about. Like, rewind. oh my You're god, rewind. Fun. You know what, I would literally trade every li Titans <laughs> Return figure I have here to have rewind and chrome dome right now. Like, oh, that rewind. And it looks so good as well. Like, they couldn't have done better for his so robot mode. Oh FYI, my god. from the reviews I've seen, he looks great. I also love rewind's weapon storage when he's in cassette mode. They didn't have to do it, but it's great. Um, also, but the one thing is that he doesn't have heals, and that's kind of a problem for him. But besides that, he seems to be an amazing figure. Unlike Wheelie. Wheelie seems to be almost flawless. But, either way, they all look great. And I cannot wait. And Ray, like we said, we have a person on this podcast that has Titans Return figures. I hate I know, you so I feel, much. Oh, I feel venerated. I'm like, for once, the UK has got something first. And I got for early once, dibs your on country well. matters. <laughs> I'm yeah. kidding. Well, no, they got a first with <laughs> Combiner Wars as well. Did oh, they? wow, did we? Oh, yeah. And then you didn't get the second wave? Joke's on you? Yeah, well, we have the second wave now, I know. bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now, when, when Titans Return is coming out. It's only like <laughs> yeah, a well, year late. Yeah, well, we got late. Titans Return early as well, so... So you're not going to get You can finally through. finish you'll never get, on. No, you'll never get your Chrome Dome to be with your Rewind. Well, you see, I'm not stupid, so I'll just buy it off the internet, dumbass. <laughs> Mm. I'm eating blueberry pie. But just letting you know. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't help it. Okay. So our next news item. Oh, by the way, that last image was from Cybertron.com. Um letting us know that US retail is just now getting the Titans Return Deluxes. I just used a picture of that. While we were talking about Titans Return uh, in unless general. Unless you're where myself and Eric are at. Which in that case, they'll be here in a good three Six months. four months. No, I, I would even say more. No, you're right. Probably th four months. You know what? Actually, if we're going to do a bit on... I mean, I want to talk more about Galvatrons in a moment. And I'm hoping we're going to cover third party stuff. Because that'll <laughs> be a good inroad for it. Hmm. Okay. Well, our next, our next thing... Is SDCC Fort Max got revealed? <laughs> Sorry, I was just laughing at how absurdly garbage it is. Sorry. Really? You think it's that bad? Um, I don't yeah. think it's anything great. All right, no, no. Okay, but... in okay in Titan mode, I think it looks pretty good because of all the paint apps, and the sword looks. What was that? Anyways, and the sword looks great. Um, but like when you look at Cerebros. His head, he has, oh, I like the Hasbro version's rebirth head sculpt with the faceplate. You can't see it well in the picture I have up here, but like...
it has his no. uh, original ex- anime face. I just let, don't like it at let all. Let me explain why I think they went with that, though. I think it wasn't an anime throwback as much as it was a, hey, in the comics, Fort Max isn't a Titan Master, and he has his Titan face on his little robot body. Let's do that for his SDCC Cerebrus, Cerberus figure. Cerebros. Yeah, Cerebros. That's what it is. Totally. Mm. Like, can't you see it? Like, that's so obviously why they went for that with it. I just don't like it. I just don't like it at all. Um, but overall, like, I'd say the main part of the figure, it, like, the the main draw to it is that, hey, look at all those extra paint apps, which I will admit do look nice. And the sword! I want that sword, but um, I want the rebirth head sculpt for Cerebros. And so since the rest of Fort Max isn't that different besides that head sculpt and the sword, and Perfect Effect is Perfect Effect is coming out with a um, way upgrade. better looking sword. Yeah, way better looking sword and so I can still get the cheaper Hasbro one which has the head sculpt I want for Cerebros and then pick up that sword which looks nicer and then have that. So I'll be satisfied with that. Yeah, honestly, uh, you know, for my forget, opinion though. about the um, Titans, for pretty much all Titan class for San Diego Comic Con, I, I don't know. I haven't really thought to, thought that Metroplex and Devastator. I, I really didn't oh, think right, that right. Was that great, the Metroplex. especially Devastator. That purple chrome didn't really look that great. Oh, I didn't. I like, like the purple chrome. You do. Metroplex was a significant upgrade though because he also came with uh, little gun. tiny figures. Yeah, that was. And he that came was with true. another gun too. He came with yeah. two guns and, instead of. All right, the biggest thing that shits on um, the exclusive uh, version of Fort Max. Uh, Fort Max. This is really, really what ruins it for me. Is he's basically the Takara version, but sold as a convention exclusive. Um, the Takara no. version. If you compare him, it's not. not mm. To be Color honest, scheme might be a bit different, but listen to the main appeals of it. Okay, the Takara version has the sword. Okay, it has the extra gun, which so does the ha- exclusive version. It has the different head sculpt on Sura Bros. Mm-hmm. It really is just a slightly recolored. Yeah, it's, re- it's recolored somewhat, but also another draw. I-, I will admit that is totally what it is. Um, but another draw to the Takara is that they got the original voice actor for Fort Max from the original cartoon. Really? And it's theorized that we're going to get to hear the transformation, the like theme song to the show, play while you transform Fort Max until you plug in the head. Which would be very interesting. But that's not confirmed, but they did confirm, they did get the original voice actor, so who knows. That's this, one thing. This is for the Takara version, right? Yes. Um, I, I'll, okay, yeah. if it doesn't, it has to say, Master Sword! Or, or I'm. It's. <laughs> That's to say, head it on. Say that. Head on. It probably will say that. Oh my god, you know what would be great? If they made it so that the peg when you plug it into his head said head on when you put his head on. Oh, I oh, would I, buy I, it. I, I literally a bet it's, times I'm over. pretty sure it's going to do that. Oh I would see, that would make that it a really cool free. figure. I, I, I definitely want that. You know what I would want? I would buy the Hasbro and then just offer someone who's getting the Takara because it has the sword and be like, hey, trade me sound chips. And just trade sound chips. Yeah, I don't know if anyone wants to do you that. You know what I'm also looking forward to, if it happens, I want to see a version of Warden that can fit in the new Fort Max. Because be Warden's a pretty cool figure. Like It's a really good take on Cerebros, and it looks a lot like comic Fort Max in my opinion. You know what uh, I want to see? And he'd be great. Grand Max, but that's not going to happen because they don't repaint Titan class figures for some reason. Uh, unless so you like, have the convention exclusives. I want, okay, like seriously, Wait, I want. Why Metro- don't they do that for the convention exclusives? Do the special repaints instead of, well, it's uh, Fort Max, but he's a slightly different color scheme. Yes, right, that's thanks. what they've done. Yeah, see, I, I, I would love would, to see a they Brave should have Max. Done, they should have done uh, Metro Titan for Metroplex, they should have done G2 Devastator. The orange version, only because I like the orange version. They probably would have done yellow. But the G2 yeah, Devastator has yellow. SDCC. And then they should have done either Grand Max or Brave Max for 
And uh, you're right. I actually would rather have Brave Max. That's who I was thinking of, not Grand Max, as the exclusive for SDCC. Grand Max year. really doesn't. I mean, he looks different, but not different Brave enough. Max Brave Max looks Max a very, lot different. Yeah, I would. Uh, that's who I was thinking of. I messed up. I would rather have Brave Max. But either way, that's enough talk about that. Our next news item is that Transformers Prime news. What? Yes. On the podcast. Coming back? TF, no, sadly. That'd be Aww. great. No, but TF Primecast is our name, so we kind of have to talk about Transformers Prime news. Cause, well, yeah. That was a show that was on a while ago. Oh, it was a really good show, though. But It was really it's good. Getting a is full one of my extended episodes of Transformer history. It's getting a full extended Blu-ray release, like all the seasons, and uh, I think the Predacons Rising movie is included, too. All on Blu-ray together. It's a little over $100. Which isn't bad when you consider how much content's actually packed into that. I may buy any, uh, special features or extras? Probably. I don't know for sure, but I would guess there's something. Oh, wait. Actually, speaking of Blu-ray, in September, the Transformers the movie, the 86 huh. movie. Yeah, we totally. I didn't even out, and I can't wait for that. I it's going to be around 30 bucks. Yeah, I should have put that on the news. I totally all right, yeah, but that. the Transformers Prime is a bigger deal than the movie. I mean, we've all seen the movie. Transformers Prime is still something we've not all seen, so. Yeah, Transformers Prime is a very great series. Like, everyone's seen the Transformers the movie. Not everyone's watched Transformers Prime. Like, even hardcore fans I know. And like it's such a good show. Please it is really watch good. It. Watch it. It's hmm. Let me think about also, it. Also, speaking of I, Prime, I would, I would um, dare to say that it is my favorite right. Transformers show. Period. I mean, like Beast Wars G One, they're great, and I love them both so dearly. But like Transformers Prime is like it took what I loved about Transformers and it like it made that the focus. I don't know. There were a lot of parts of Transformers Prime I didn't like either, but like. Some of my favorite moments of Transformers in general are in that show. So I got to say, Transformers Prime, I definitely recommend picking this up whenever it comes out. Cause, you, know like, why such a trans- good show. you know why Transformers Prime is also great, though? Like, just a minor thing, but um, it's a continuation of War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron. Yeah, the and continuity. They were really, really good games. Yes, so, they I mean, This is it's true. Pre- this is like, I can't fault. Um, I also read the books. There are books that go in between Fall of Cybertron and Transformers Prime. And, and I, mean, I read them, is, and they're they're really good. And I mean, there is foot. You no, know, I have to say that uh, also oh, yeah, something about Rise Prime. The Dark Spark, human is... characters are not completely worthless. No, what? not completely. They're somewhat useful. That's a first. But anyways, that's enough talk about that because we're not reviewing the show. We're just talking about the news. But again. Great show. Should totally buy that whenever it comes out. Oh, <laughs> Ray, you're going to love this next bit of news. Squeaks! Oh, God. Uh, yeah, so Hasbro applied for a trademark for the name for Squeaks, which is their little Transformers buddy that transforms into a motorcycle that is the friend of the new main character girl in Transformers 5. They applied for the trademark to make toys, and they spelled it different. They Instead of Squeaks as in, like, S Q D. U E E K S. They made it S Q W E E K S. So it's slightly different than what the movie name will be for the toy, but we're used to that. Like Alpine Sideswipe and Red Alert, you know? That kind of thing. Oh, I thought you didn't know who Red Alert was. <laughs> Actually I was talking about I was talking about Red Alert with uh Ray before the show started. Yeah. I bet Comic so, Red Alert. Yeah, we were talking. Yeah, we mentioned him. I bet how he's a character who actually matters, unlike G One Red Alert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Then again, then again, you could say all- about almost every major comics character. Oh yeah, they're like G One X, except Accepting. people actually care about them. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. So yeah, they're gonna make toys of a movie character. Surprise. So that's all we're gonna say about that news. But either way, you know. I really hope toys. he's not a wheelie 2.0. <laughs> he is going to be a wheelie 2.0. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be straight up honest. I don't mind. Wheelie's supposed to be returning if you didn't know that. What? Yeah. That's awful. What? Are you kidding he's me? Probably, I love wheelie. He's, he's so... probably going to be like a motorbike or something, though, and he's going to be like some hood rat, and he's going to be like, yo, 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 what up? <laughs> See, I like, can't say the next bit. I, <laughs> what? <laughs> I hate, like, 
Wheelie is so bad in the movies that I love him because he's what every Transformers fan hates so much, and I just love seeing the rage of everyone. You know what? I <laughs> don't hate Wheelie, laugh. though. I like his design. I'm like, happy his Skids design. and Mudflap are going to go. Oh, don't talk about oh, that. Don't, don't right. talk Worst about that. Worst bit about that is how it's so bad in that. But <laughs> the comic... <laughs> the... Interesting. Bro, it's not okay. Okay. Crash with okay, okay, we're done with this. Next news <laughs> Um this next news is the I think the first issue in the comics. In the background see Metal and then Rusty Prime, I think. I think it's like his face is Sentinel Prime, but like blue and red and like yellowish armor. I think it's the Apex armor. So this might mean a re Sentinel Prime for Titans Return. Great. But more actually, more no, actually, the way it looks, it looks good. But either way, he gets the Apex armor again? I'm guessing? I'm confused. Either way, it's a thing that's happening in universe. Are you for the first however many minutes this episode? It's happening in the comics too because. Uh, the the oh, yes. Uh, he used in uh, IDW before he died. The man, like Megatron ripped it off and murdered it. And he went like, "Oh, look at me, I'm." For guns, you can't beat me, and then Megatron murdered him. Yeah, is still a Maybe I'm like it should be, and it's like I'm putting things like this. It's like a big weapon esque thing with um, if. Millimeter ports, and they just shove, and but it just shoves into any trans, into any transforming that has five millimeters, and you don't know. It's all worked on. If they do, actually go to an A, that's how you would do it. <laughs> wait, wait, Ray, this, this, uh, has me opinion on trends and crimes. Um, yes. But anyways, because we can talk about it in the end of the show. I do know what you're talking about, though, that uh, is a thing that happened. And I kind of liked it, but anyways. I thought it was cool, because, I don't know, you sound yeah. cool. You... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Zara scream. Yeah, I think. Yeah, but anyways, next piece of news is that the preview, is like it's a prelude type thing for the Minor Wars series, aired. Have I know Ray has not seen it. Optimus, have you seen? Uh, what? Uh, okay. <laughs> I haven't. No. It's a preview for the final TV. It's a machinima show. Oh, okay, okay. It's not real. <laughs> no, it'll be animated. Like, uh, the the pre uh, in this animated the same way that we would sort of film a animated. <laughs> no, but like the the preview like start off comic type video, like it showed slides. And like there were voices and sound effects, was, like just dots and stuff. Oh, that's it, so. But that's the con not how the series is gonna be. The animated it's like, like robots and that type of animation. I find out that robots in disguise is a continuation of uh, Prime, and I don't know how to feel that. You didn't know that? No. That's like that's the the show. It has to be. When, uh, well, I mean, it doesn't have to be continuation. Soundwave can exist in another cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> but it's it the exact same. 
Like the crappy looking sound. Oh, come on, I like that sound wave. I like that sound wave. <laughs> I liked how it was silent. No. I swear to God, if you say he doesn't look the, like G1, um, I'm gonna go. Yeah, that one. <laughs> what a noise. And this is all a noise. It's form mode. And B. Oh, is alt mode. I don't Ruin mind him. that. I don't mind that. Oh, I don't. Weird, thin, crappy. Um. Not what are you talking about? That happened. I like that toy. Anyways. Oh, oh but the prelude, what the thing we were actually talking about. Every week for next, there's going to be like a wind blade and a star scream. I think there might be people more, but I'm not sure. But there's going to be like short previews for that. Also, the first prime was a voice. Uh, what's his name? He's epic voice. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Peter. He's a YouTuber. Uh, voice guy. He's like John. I can't remember what number. John sub point oh. It's like John. Is he the guy who does the voice on? What? Is he the guy who does the voice on? Uh, it might be. It's like. I think he does some of them, yeah. Why did you have to remind me of SG? You could fucking R.I.D. sound wave. Looks really <laughs> I really hate that song. <laughs> I didn't like it, by the way. I'm not gonna... Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just... But, oh, you <laughs> evens. <laughs> yeah, oh. It's... The best version of it. Stupid. Oh, to talk about that. It was oh, toys. Oh, they're really I weird. Say, yeah, yeah. I really like, 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 like auto bubbly. Yes. Uh, um, but anyway, you know, what? You're good. I was gonna say, you know who I hope shows some R.I.D. Agnes. Lockdown. No. Lockdown. This is enough love in the world for lockdown. Right. So marginalized, like we all in the movie. Hello, in the movie. He wasn't great, but I didn't think he was bad. Yeah. He like lockdown. I do agree. That would be a nice guy. Um, but because. To be honest, it doesn't matter to us. I, you, I doubt you're listening to this. It'll be not. So, yeah. I think on con name, though. Like, this is an official official convention. So that's interesting to see. Like, this is... Like, empty well, because they can't... Oh, no. I don't... I don't know. Either way, but I wonder if they're going to use anything for America eventually in BlockCon. Well, they're not the rights to BlockCon, so I don't know what they're going to call it. They might call it CybertronCon. They fi they uh, filed the trademark for it. More news like this. Uh, oh. Messed up the slideshow. Look at me. There we go. Um, But... There's a picture of Windblade, and yeah, like I said, and also, it looks pretty good. R.I.D. one does look con voice actor was confirmed, but I don't remember what it's done. Well, okay, just like, not really matter than my. Uh, computer on fans. Yes. Like, uh, what? Like you don't you require your <laughs> next. You like those computer on people. Don't no, listen. No, no, I like computer a lot. We're gonna talk about. Yeah, yeah. You like sound wave people. <laughs> I'm lucky. Okay, next item. Yeah, um, there is a pattern to it. <laughs> Their next statue, which is G1 styled Optimus Prime. 
off the bat, I'm going to say this looks amazing and perfect. But my one problem with it, I don't collect non-transform Transformers. Oh, we don't, yeah. Prime 1 is um, G1 Optimus Prime styled statue. Oh, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say it though. The one thing that I don't get transformers that don't transform. I mean, no noise more than anything. But like, I just don't want it. I don't know. It's the statue. It looks amazing, and I think it's great. Like, but I don't buy it. Don't you? It doesn't speak some shit. But I mean, my statues that move are we angel. Okay, it's a statue. Like, okay, I don't think the legs move, but I think the. Uh, she really, I mean. <laughs> but yeah, it's a statue. But still, like, it still has, like, you can put with, like, multiple <laughs> weapons and stuff. Like, I just, just want it. Because it's not why does. Why does. <laughs> oh, this is the most stupid statue ever. Well, doesn't I don't do want anything. a statue because it doesn't transform. Just say you don't. A statue. Just say you want a statue. <laughs> don't do some weird. It doesn't transform, though. Don't! That's <laughs> irrelevant, though. This oh. is. Yeah, it's just it's a Transformers right. statue. No, um, it trans statue. It's no. the end of it, right? She's uh, good. It looks awesome. I will say that. So, like, if you're if, in, if you get it, you're into non Transformers. No, no, if you're into statues. Yeah, you're, no, no, you're right. There are people out there who use. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not saying no one, but I'm just not. Uh, I don't know. That's uh, cool, but like, unless they're it. <laughs> unless they're transformers. <laughs> Items is actually pretty cool. In the Sky Links, well, no, Links Master for Takaka. He's in showdown with Grand Galvatron. It's cool and stuff. And then at the end, we see the Torchbearers, who are the team for Victorian. We see that they're all purple, dark purple, and black, and with. Uh, and that's what the dialogue is, but it clearly indicates that um, Pyramag. Uh, is the f of f or whatever he's like that's a lot of to win or whatever so um yeah are we making a deception on victoria you uh, know but is there the thing i can think of with this is geez japanese people are really sexist <laughs> what because <laughs> It's the only fuck on a team. Uh, yeah, but there has their win. He's what the sex? No, I am very interested though, because it's like Victorian. I really like Victorian. I just have to convict. Oh, I just did it like New York. I very much want to buy that thing. You still look like back in Headmaster. Yes, I know. I want that. I'll do that. In Game of Thrones. Okay, you know what? When I buy it, I will come like that in it. Really? Oh, I'm serious. Wait. You gotta, Ray, you gotta see this. Alright, what am I gonna say about Grand Galvatron? They chose some interesting characters for a long shot. Is so <laughs> Sorry, but... 
Star Scream is so Yes, perfect. Ghost Star Scream is... I love that. No, they also... Actually, you know... Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice figures. And the American uh, not stuff. Not Menasaur. I'm sorry, but... There's no way They're really yeah, bad. That's true. They're really bad, though. See, right, I don't care because the only stunt con worth giving a uh, drag strip anyway. Like, he looks awful. <laughs> banana. Drag oh, strip's not meant. Cool. I, I, have an, I have like a little person. <laughs> he looks like a banana. <laughs> Can you damn well please? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, it's dragon. It's from Bottom Card. Okay. We're who? Oh. We should, uh, Computra. Well, this is how the, uh, Technobots are being. You guys did it express. No. Is that Ray? You said it now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I mean. I'm excited for the Technobots, but the Takara version. Okay, so I the one excited for Hasbro's. Just wow. look at. Uh, yes. 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 Bad. I think he's gonna make a better. Dark. What? But I want a Computron. But either way. I'm excited for the a lot. I'm um, made from air instead of uh ah from Takar. Am I the only one that thinks that? Who's the Takara better than Hasbro? No. Takara. You like Takara better? Yes. What about you, Ray? Uh, Takara came with a repaint of Cosmos as well. Uh, what yeah. were you gonna say? Wait, did you did you say which you like better? Uh, oh, which after oh my three shell and completely new part for the stuff. You look at me. Honestly, don't. don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. <laughs> These things, I'm just fed. Uh -huh. Jay. Yeah, I'm really As uh, head feet with people. Let me get to you. On are so great and so needed. Like they make. They're also in so scale, well, I presume. If you mean like for the combined, yeah. excellent. No, they ba they made them in scale to the individual robot. Like a oh, of an individual robot mode feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not sure. What to... but... that... uh, you know, what? I'll say uh, uh, the Unite War stuff uh, that I really like. Uh, ooh, ooh, wait, wait, wait. One, I just want to interrupt you before I forget this. The target master for Scrounge, the little yellow guy, this is a robot member of Hasbro, is finally named, and I finally found it's Sai. Uh, your name. I just wanted to say, he's a uh, now. He's a master. He's a master. Because both look great. It's supposed to be even more compete on What a crap! Oh, That's four legs. All the legends class has been with combined awards figures. Even then, it's kind of crap. No, it doesn't. Like, it's like, oh, it have a stone party. You die. 
It's like they all look rubbish. Like, uh, oh, um, every color. The one where I actually wore. Uh, but Groove is, yeah, chef minion. <laughs> it's not even. Uh, it's just like. like yeah, like the, he sprawled out across. It's like, oh, like that. Just hold no. on. Just hot spot going up to. <laughs> we new leg, so we're gonna shrink you. No, no I think that no six members of the combined is right. right. I'd just be like, well, let's scale is smaller because it. You know, like, an inconsistent, just small, normal character. But we can move through the losses. The less just really like. I don't know. <laughs> they just really tiny characters. I, I think of. Uh, I like think all on Shockwave. Afraid of him. Uh, just, just, yeah, I, I, I think of it as like a little drone of himself that uses like, hey, this would be a great weapon for a combiner. And then he's like, why don't I make it me? That'd be hilarious. I'm going to troll Decepticons. Yeah. <laughs> thing where whenever somebody comes and it's always much larger than to a hot. Yep. Where it's like. He's. Size. When he's. Bar. Like. Metroplex. Yeah. Either way. Who are you? No. I prefer the two. That's totally. I prefer. Both in the night parts. A Technobot team and a copter. I'm not just gonna use the as robots. I actually have a whole set on who's gonna be uh, like a combiner part and who's gonna be. And it actually but the works real out really question great. is: Are you going to use scratch your shoulder? Not gonna the machine cut on the combiner. I'm gonna need that to or so. So, uh, like ground, so he can be his own guy. Uh, yeah, because his own candy one, I don't think, uh, Computron was walking around with a giant yellow plate. Actually, he oh, was. Sure. Totally... <laughs> I don't think. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> you said no idea. It, I, I, don't, I don't think there was ever a giant yellow plate uh, on shore. Sure. What are you talking about? Ray, that's totally a thing, right? Totally a thing. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Do you even know what we're talking about? She scratches the shore. Haven't <laughs> <laughs> you? Yes, it totally was. What are you talking about? You said G winner. Uh, no, it, it wasn't actually. Okay, okay. Yes, you're right. So, that will do this. Um, we're going to do the show now. Well, in a little bit. The show will include talk about Diaclone. Titan. With Transformers. Well, just a few minutes. Uh, let's just go over how people can contact us if they want to. I'm Eric Crowder, a Amherst Prime on Twitter. I'm at Aram. There's a link in the description below. Check the Twitter. And I like talking to people on Twitter. So, opt in, is there people contact you if they want to? Uh, well, when you like I have to say, you look on Instagram. Look me up. 
Just look it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can just obey. Uh, Oh my god. I can't handle this change. I don't know. It's pretty crazy. And one should hang it. All you gotta do is change zero to. Hey, do you want to see Twitter? Yes, no, maybe so. If not, that's no. Cool. No? Okay. One could talk to Yeah, sorry. He's a, yeah. he's a really, he just, he hides in the woods in his, in his log cabin. Yeah, and once, basically, yeah. Once we journeys to someone's house and just borrows their computer to do this Yeah, with without us, the permission, just break They it. have no idea he's there right now. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know why. I actually have to go for a moment, I'll be right back. <laughs> he just got arrested. <laughs> okay. so we'll hit. Th just give us a little bit, and we'll start the after show. You should totally listen. Okay.